must be morning. I got my coffee. <laughs> oh, it must be morning because the heat is on. Oh, man. It's getting definitely finally to summer in California again. After we had three weeks of spring that seemed to be only fall weather. Man, that's good coffee. It's actually, yeah, it's a long story, but I hate to waste things. So, you know, if, if my wife has one of those little coffee thingies that you can make one cup in, well, if it's still in the container, you know, that dispenses it, I run it. <laughs> and I drink it. And it probably doesn't have much coffee in it. <laughs> But it works for me. <sighs> Don't tell her. Sitting in the morning with the sunshine reminds me that There's nothing wrong with having a spring that came with lots of clouds and cold weather because in due time, the sun came back. In its season, summer is here. You know, one of the promises that God said, as long as the sun rises and as long as there are seasons in the sky, then so too his promises come true. And that's a paraphrase, but when I feel less than wide awake, when I am not as, you know, jumping around and happy, go lucky, as I normally am, then I don't feel as though sin were knocking at my door or that I'm any less the person that God made me to be. I feel that I'm as in tune and in time with the Lord as He would have me to be with the seasons. For everything and every day of the, every moment of the day, there is a time and a season and a cycle that you'll go through. Oh sure, there could be things like vitamins and sugar and caffeine and all the other nitty-gritty physical aspects that can cause your emotions to go like a roller coaster ride. But the bottom line is we can be inside of that roller coaster in perfect calm because of the word. And as I look at one of my plants getting burned from the sun, Because we're not so consumed with being perfectionists, I can stop and put the plant down in the shade. Because sometimes that's what God wants to do with you and me. He wants to stop what we're doing, bring us to a realization that just like this little plant that's gotten burned by the morning sun, sometimes we need to be taken into the shade and he needs to speak with us to talk with us, to give us some insight that we might not have had or be aware of so that we can handle when the sun beats down upon us and we're dry, we can always return back to him and be restored and refreshed as I feel the wind blowing and the Holy Spirit moving. So when God is calling you, listen. He might take you aside for a moment just to be placed in the shade for comfort. And in that plant's case, a little watering and some restoration. Maybe a little pruning so the brown doesn't show. The day of trouble. Offer unto me the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. To praise and thank and steadily fulfill your promised vows to me are then, as it were, the placing of a coin in my bank, upon which, in your time of need, you can draw with confidence and certainty. Remember that. 
The world wonders when it sees the man who can so unexpectedly draw large and unsuspected sums from his bank for his own need and that of a friend or some charity. But what the world has not seen are the countless small sums paid into that bank earned by faithful work in many ways. And so too is it in my kingdom. The world sees the man of faith make a sudden demand upon me, upon my stores, and guess what? The demand is met. So with you, my children, offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. This is a promise for the seemingly dull days of little happenings and cheer for you. When you seem not able to do big things, you can be storing your little acts and words of faithfulness in my great storehouse ready for the day of your big command. There is no doubt that we see the seasons come and go. We see spring and summer and fall. We see the rain, the sunshine, the clouds. But what God says is that you could give thanks in everything, for this is his will. And in so doing, he accounts it to you as little coins in the bank, so to speak. That when you rise, when you wake up, you could say, thank you, Lord, for another day. And you know, just like a little coin in the bank, God will take that and he'll use it as your gratitude unto him. That when the day is needful and you find yourself overwhelmed, he'll take and make you so grateful for that little time that you spent with him. That little special token of love that you gave him. That little thoughtfulness that you did, that you met with him today, and you shared, not just what was on your heart, but what was on his. And when you do those little things daily, then when disaster strikes, when your health fails, when things fall apart and you know not where to go or what to do, God will come in like a flood, and he'll meet you and give you all that you desire. Oh, maybe not exactly the way you desire it, but he'll give you that which is needful for you to meet the challenges that you suddenly found yourself in need of him. Meet with him today and every day, because that's one of those little things in a devotional, devotional, that God honors because you're spending time with him. And you can take that to the bank.